while I was off there, uh, I just finished out doing uh, the set square and from the black it went over and did the black pencil tip okay and now i've just gone into this very flesh colored very very light pink to do the wood on the tip of the pencil okay and uh i guess and also oh i have to say now i'm gonna change my colors now uh because this is quite a dark purple i am going to invoke where is this? Somewhere. I got it. Not that one, not that one. Oh, now where are you? Because I know I put you somewhere. Yeah, I uh, oh, had a few things up and I've just loaded up a more uh, deep purple because I decided that the lavender I was going to use wouldn't go so well. So this is almost the same colour as the zip, a very deep purple I'm doing for the pencil. Okay. Meanwhile, I have to say to you that while I was off there and stitching out the set square, uh, my thread broke twice. Now, I was thinking to myself, oh, that's a needle problem. So I changed my needle uh, and I was thinking, well, what did we do before? Oh, of course, we were doing the uh, stuffed animal key holder thingy. And uh, it's like I say, you really need to change your needle quite often because um, if, I, I mean, I was, for the gold, the old gold, I was using um, a sim thread. It's not actually metallic, but it's a lovely sim thread colour. And nothing wrong with the actual, I, I love sim thread threads. So I know there's nothing wrong with the thread. Uh, so it must have been the eye of the needle uh, shredding it and making it snap. So change the needle. Okay. So I'm just going to go on now, as you can see, and finish this pencil up. And then we'll come back to the next bit. Just finished my pencil. Lovely. Uh, and now, uh, this is what I should have used on the pencil uh, sharpener. This is Madeira thread, yeah? Very expensive, but oh, it's gorgeous. So I'm just putting... You, but you, you see how you don't get a lot <laughs> for your money? You really don't get a lot for your money. Uh, you know... I would rather use uh, some of these bobbins you can see on the side that are like 5,000 yards, yeah. Hang on, and then I've just got to make sure that that's coming off correctly as well. Oh, because they are a bit fussy, these Madeira threads. They really are. It's hold it while I bring it through the tensioner. <sighs> Lots of money. Beautiful, beautiful colours. Very silky, very glossy, but a pain in the wasset. If I add sim thread in the same colour, I'd use it. Right, so this, the last thing I'm doing now is basically it's a satin stitch uh, paper clip, isn't it? Right, so once it's held it down, I can let go. Oh, I always got my tweezers and my scissors ready because, as you know, I do cut threads as I go. Hmm, loving the effect on that pencil. Imagination, you can do anything that's in your mind. Now that's done. Okay, so that is all the embroidery. I've got a little teeny snippet on that black. We went straight from the black on here to the black on the pencil. Nope, didn't need to change colours. Oh, right, cut that off. Have I got it? Mm, didn't do it as well as I thought, did I? Right, 
that's better. Right. So cut my thread on that. Loving. Well, I, I wish I'd use this on there, but too late now. I've done it. Um. So now uh, take that marvelous Madeira a thread. Ooh. I got a case with about ooh, forty colours of this, but you can only use it for little bits because there's not an awful lot on it, is there? Right. Now. Uh, let's get rid of me hardware out of the way because now we finish doing the lower part embroidery and you can see this is where we moved that second green line with a zip we moved it to underneath the embroidery in our work schedule because now what we need to do is to take away uh, take it off the hoop and now we've done uh, all the embroidery. There's my back, okay? Now we've done all the embroidery. We can untape the liner, which has been facing up until now, hasn't it? Out of the way, just facing up out of the way. And I'm gonna get hold of it. Take the paper off of there. Fold that back down now to cover over and tape again to cover over the lower part of the pencil case so i'm using the same bit of tape just to keep that out the way all right okay now with the other you know we cut this like two thirds on the bottom and a third on the top so now we need to get those piece pieces over right there they are and what we want to do is uh, we need to uh, make them match let's have the square side go make them match the top of the zip all right so eventually we will fold it up to cover As I was saying, my uh, camera ran out of juice. So now we need it to match the top of the zip. Okay. And, you know, I keep my bits of paper. Oh, call me tight if you like. Uh, let's move it over so it's uh, central with the one underneath. Uh, tape down uh, on the sides. That, that that uh, lining piece so it's facing down eventually we will be bringing it up right turn over your hoop again and now with this part in exactly the same way uh, we're gonna make that meet the top of the zip it's you know because this is where and I'm gonna take that bit down you can see how my hoops get sticky and gunky can't you all right so we're going to just take that bit down so it's across the top oops so it's uh meeting the top of the zip and put our hoop back on all right and this is where the second green line and i asked you to move it underneath the embroidery Second green line now. What colour have I got on? Anything? I've got anything on, have I? What am I doing next? Uh, mm. I am going to put on that dark purple because once this is um, held down, I want to do the lettering. The lettering's going to happen, yeah? So I'm just going to pop on that dark royal purple that I decided to use rather than the... Uh, very light aqua just because of the material that i chose and it's like anything isn't it uh, once you've chosen a fabric that you're going to use well then you're going to change your choices of colors of uh, thread you know that's how it goes so uh now uh to do that green line across hit start oh get out of that hit start
There we are done. Now, I am going to leave the pink bit still facing down out the way. And I am going to just lift because we don't want the embroidery to go through to our uh, lining. So I am just taking the paper, the hold down. Oops. Oh, I pulled up my... Uh, put me there. Uh, so that I can now just flip the top back underneath and obviously you know god willing it will mean that it covers your top stitch okay so i can then if if you want to you can you can get a, a, another bit of uh, tape if you want to be assured and pushing that fabric back you can then just tape the very top all right so that's help the lining is still facing down behind it now I'm going to do, oh, well, the name I'm going to do now is Lizzie because uh, I'm doing this for a friend. So, you know, here we go. So start now and now we're doing the name. You don't need to see all of this uh get out so I'll just stop the video there and come back to you when I finished. All right uh, I've just done uh, the name Lizzie okay and my uh, screen is telling me I'm going to do an overall line now encompassing the whole thing so I need to take this off the hoop turn it over and do the paper that's holding down the lining fold the lining up over uh, and put tape back on so the lining is held up over the, the stitching of the name that we've just done okay uh, we've taped that up take that down and then we need to bring this over and what we need to do now is just lift these edges i'm hoping this is in camera shot okay it's just lift these edges and where we've taped down the zip right in the beginning we need to sort of pull that bit of paper away if you can't get all of it it's not a problem but you know we really need to Get that tape out of the way, both sides. All right. Ooh. Sometimes it's down so stiff. You can't get hold of it. Right, I've got hold of it. Now, uh, and then we are now going to put the front facing. We can kind of let that go as well because that's been held down by the name. And we need to open the zip, okay? So I'm bringing the zip to about the middle, all right? We're opening the zip. Then we get our front facing piece now uh, that we made. I'll bring them both over. We're not going to use the one for this, but this is, you know, the uh, same colour of the pouch that we want to use. And we are now going to place that entirely over. Please open your zip, otherwise you are absolutely buggered, right? But now we are going to place down the right sides together, get more tape. Oh, that didn't go very well. Oh, forget that. Get some more tape. Uh, as you can see, it's very little places to tape it now. So I'm going to take this corner, take this end, and I am going to tape that end well out of the way of the stitch line. You could tape the side, but I haven't got much to hold on to on the side, so I think that's good enough for me. So now I am going to 
come back to our programme, you see we've got this whole solid outline, which is going to be in uh, triple stitch. Part hoop back under. I'm still using this dark uh, purple now. Uh, so it's just the lining piece, just, just the front piece. I've still got this lining piece to use, but I'm not using it yet. All right, so the first one, we're going to press start. And it's going to do this lovely triple stitch all the way around that really secures uh, the back together. Gonna, it, it goes into position for the next thing so I'm just bringing my hoop forward and I can take off that paper and that paper because it's not going to move now that's the whole thing is stitched together all right but the last thing that we haven't done is taking the hoop out moving it over oh I got some nasty threads going on there I don't know what happened but anyway we can also, because this will help now, uh, because that's all been stitched down, we can take away any other papers that we can see, yeah, holding it, you know, in place. Get rid of them, because you don't want those included in your stitches. And the very last thing we do is face down, uh, covering absolutely everything, yeah, is your final lining part, a bit more paper, because we're going to say, oh, let's take that there. Take that there. It depends on how secure you want to go, but it's better to be secure than not secure. So, taping the side. Yeah. Taping the sides. Right, so that's our lining. Uh, pretty to pretty gone down still using that dark uh, purple doesn't matter put it back under the hoop for the very last stitch out which is the one if you remember that has a gap in it which is allow us gonna to turn it so start that is now going to sew down the lining to the back. Now we're done. You might think, well, that don't look much of anything. Well, no, not yet. You wait and see what we do next. Now we can take it out of the hoop. Take the whole thing. Take off any clamps that are holding it down. Open your hoop. Oh, I've got a little bit of paper there. Take any papers rolling it any papers get rid of it that's our pencil case done <laughs> obviously I'm going to show you now how to cut it and how to turn it all right but that is it done okay then uh, I've got a few things here ready to show you so let's uh, you know Oh, I don't know I cut them off because I'm going to cut the whole thing off. So here is the finished product. Yeah? Doesn't look a lot at the moment, does it? Remember uh, we did on... When we put the last piece of lining down, there's this gap left. Very important. 
Okay, so I'm going to start from the front and uh, I'm using, now this is a pair of, if I just show you a minute, this is a pair of, um, of pinking shears that do like a little scalloped edge. The other pair, yeah, this is another pair of pinking shears, okay, and they do your normal zigzaggy edge, yeah. I do tend to like the scalloped edge ones, I don't know, but they came with a set of two, and this is my preferred one. So I'm just starting, uh, make sure I'm in front of you, I'm just starting at the corner, and straight away I am going to cut a diagonal across the corner uh, all around. Through all layers of fabric. Uh, well, I think, to be honest, at the moment I can... On the top now, I'm about a quarter of an inch, can you see? About a quarter of an inch away from my work, yeah? Don't need that one right there, did it? Get rid of that. And I'm going to go across the diagonal and then a quarter of an inch away from my work, cutting through the zip. I hope you open your zip. Cutting through the zip down to the bottom. I'm going to leave that for a second and come up the side from that diagonal through that zip. Okay, so now we get rid of all those extra pieces that we don't want. And yeah, you can go and tidy. Now the reason why I use pink and shears is because it saves you having to go around the corners and do teeny 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 little slits all the way around. That's why I use pink and shears. But if you don't have pink and shears and you are cutting it in a straight line, then please do tiny little snips around the corner to allow it to turn out more easily. Now the reason why I've stopped there is because I want to look at the back because obviously this is our turning place, yeah? So just for a minute, I am just going to make it more manageable by cutting it a little shorter and just the pinky bit, just the pink, just, well, just my line there. I'm going to cut up nearly to uh, the stitch line, not quite, but nearly to the stitch line and then I'm going to get then I can with all of it now cut my quarter of an inch you see to that stitch line and I can come in here a bit awkward but I can uh, I can uh, I'm sure it's left handed sometimes got the whole thing and come in here and do what I would normally do <coughs> with the corners. Now I just need to tuck that pink in. So keep holding that pink back I can now go along with the ordinary top line of our uh, pencil case. Cut it off but you see Oh, I've left that long. I've actually probably left that too long. I might just cut a little bit more off of that. But things that I need to tuck in, because I will need to tuck that in, I leave a little longer. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So now we've gone all the way around and I pinked it. That's not really good stitching there, is it? I pinked it and we're ready for the first turn because we're going to need to turn this twice. Okay, so to help me this time, I brought over my proper turning tool. I know I say to use a chopstick and I got nails and this like that. But this is a proper turning tool. It's made by Clover, okay? You've got a blunt end and you've got a pointy end. Obviously, don't get too uh, vicious with it. 
Um, so now we are going to go through that gap of the lining and turn it for the first time. So I'll go right up to one end, put my finger on it and poke it through one way, right? And begin to bring it out. So I got something to say, well, there it is. Then I go back through and I go to the other corner. Where are I? Sorry. I go through to the other corner, put my finger on the other corner like that, and poke that with my fingernail and bring that through. So now I've got both top corners that I'm pulling through. And as I said to you before, just ease it. Don't uh, pull like mad. It, it, you know, it's not a tug of war. You're just easing things. All right. Takes a little bit of time, not too long. You can see it's coming, but you are just easing it through without trying to pull your uh, opening and make it uh, not nice. So uh, then, once you've got it to a certain state, okay. Remember I told you we're turning this twice, and you think, "Well, how can you turn anything twice?" So now I'll go. Uh, this is. This, the bottom. So now I'll go. I probably shouldn't have used purple there, but you're never going to see it because this is the lining, remember? So probably should have used pink. There's the matter to say. Right, so now uh, I should just go in there again and make sure, although they're rounded corners, I'm just making sure that they coming through very nicely. Yes, they are. Right, so I've turned it once. So now I'm looking at my lining. Okay. Now, uh, <coughs> there's lots of things we can do here. This is why I brought some things over. Uh, I've got a uh, steamer seam too, this is called. Uh, it's quarter of an inch and you can use it to uh, finish this off under the iron. Obviously, I got several. This is a bit thicker. This is half inch, and I think this is half inch. But this is the sort of thing, you know. It's just uh, like a bonder web type stuff that you could use to finish it off if you're not that uh, keen on sewing. But I have uh, already. Um, I'm giving this to someone, so I don't want it to, to to come apart. I mean, if it was just mine and it came apart, well. I could turn it back the other way and go fix it but because i'm giving this to somebody else uh okay i am wanting to uh sort this out so i am turning in one edge and the other edge above uh you can see that line that purple line Okay, so I'm turning one edge to meet the other edge of my, uh, see, there we are, okay, and um, I can just get a wonder clip and put on there to hold it, okay, so that is going to seal off now my uh, bottom of my pencil case, and off camera, I'm just going to ladder stitch that shut. As I said, you could use some sort of iron-on bonder web now and do it really quickly. All right, so I've just sewn the bottom of that shut very quickly. Now, uh, can you see here, uh, uh, you know my zip was purple, and what you can see this behind it now is the cutaway stabiliser. So I'm using a pair of curved embroidery scissors, a pair of curved scissors, so I don't cut the fabric and I am just going to go in where the, and I am going to, obviously I don't want to cut the zip, so all I want, there we go, is a way in, alright, see me, and then away from my fabric 
stitch line. So you see how I'm using my scissors, the curve of my scissors, so I'm definitely not cutting my fabric. But you know, quite closely, all the way to the end. And obviously this um this is on the inside so you can't really see it. Okay. And I just very carefully very carefully uh not cutting my fabric. Just very 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 if I use very very light cuts I can tell if I got fabric in it. So that's what I like to do. Yeah, very, very light cuts. So I'm just cutting away now the uh, uh, the uh, no show mesh that we stitched the zip to in the first place. All right. I'm just getting rid of that. Nearly done it. Oops, nearly done it. Right. So that was the strip behind it. I mean, you can go off, you can go and tidy it up, but at the end of the day, it is going to be on the liner. Nobody's going to see it. Right? Uh, so now you can see why we opened the zip halfway. Because now we need to get in there with our fingers and open the zip as much as we can, the whole way yeah and now this is what i said we've got to turn it now we've shown the bottom now we need to turn it for the second time so i'm going to do the top first <coughs> put my finger in and turn it yeah doing the top first see there's our lizzie a few more what and then i'm going to go down put my finger on one bottom poke it bring it up, go in and find the other bottom, poke it and bring it up. Once I got those two pieces out like that, well the rest of it's a piece of cake isn't it? Right there we are now with my turning tool and I'm going to use the blunt end now because the last thing I want to do is poke through a seam. So using my blunt end I just go round and make sure yeah, that those seams are right and there we have the finished product yeah you can go round another thing I do I tend to do is I go round and I roll the seams literally between my fingers I roll the seams to get that uh, stitch line to sit in the center of the seam but there is our finished pencil case it's completely lined inside ready to fill up with stuff I am going to put uh, some sort of little um, Oh, so, well, I'll go and find one. Mm. Now I found a few. Um, that would have been nice if I could have found the right colour, but that's not the right colour. That's too burgundy. That's no good. White, well, no, well, no, not to be honest. So I think matching in with that, I think I'll go with this one. So now, how do we do it? Uh, Let's find, oh, that's not, that's my sewing one. Let me get over my, woo, knitting one. This has got my uh, larger needles in for sewing, yeah. Which one? This one, I think. Let me just see if it'll go through the hole on the zip. It will. Will it? Yeah, it will. Right, so, okay. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go 
uh, the filter back and I'll put this I'll squish it up, twist it, squish it up a bit and put that through the eye of this uh, down needles that I use and I'll just pull the whole ruddy lot through. See? So I've just pulled it through and then having got it through I'll just loop that over the other okay and pull it tight and now there it is. So that's my zipper puller put on the pencil case. Uh, as I say, I would have preferred to use one a bit more like this, but that was definitely the wrong colour. I didn't have the right colour. But anyway, so there we are. So I put a little zipper pull on it. It's all lined inside, as you can see. It's all lovely. If you go right to the bottom where we sewed it, bring that up. That's where I sewed it. You can still see the purple. You can't see the colour that I used to close it, but you can still see the purple stitching. Yeah. So that's it done. Ready to accept bits and bobs for schoolwork or pencils or brushes or whatever else somebody wants to put in it. But that's made in the 5x7 hoop. Uh, I want to say uh, that you can, naturally, you can um, use... The, what I've just showed you, if you go back and start right at the beginning and instead of starting with this size, uh, put on your 8x8 hoop or put on an 8x10 hoop or, you know, you can make it as big as you want. Well, obviously, remember, you're going to have to have the correct uh, width of zip, yeah? Uh, they're all an inch wide, so that'll work for you. But you can change the um, way this is made, okay? Now, in the next video, we're going to be doing a makeup case, which is uh, basically it's, it, 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 it's more reinforcement of doing this, so you get used to it. But it's a complete, it's a, a wide one. So, uh, and we're going to do some embroidery um, regarding makeup. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please. Uh, Hit the notification bell to get the next one up. Uh, please share with your friends. And please come and join us in Lovelock Designs Facebook group page. Facebook page. Alright, thank you for playing along.